Okay, I'm doing a video. Um, this is one of the turn signals uh, from the Competition Works uh, Fender Elimination Kits. Uh, so anyway, um, what this is really focusing on is replacing the light bulb inside of this turn signal. And so um, as far as trying to figure out how to get the bulb out, it's not so easy. You know, you're looking at the whole thing and stuff like that. Uh, however, I did message someone over there at uh, Competition Works, and they showed me that because um, I took a picture of the little opening at the bottom there, which Trish can see that. Anyway, so they just made mention of taking a flathead screwdriver, putting that hole, and then turning it sideways, and it should pop the the lens off. And so. Um, I'll try to do this. Now, if, this, if the thing's on the motorcycle, you obviously have to reach up underneath there in order to get to that area. But, um, so anyway, put that thing in there. Turn it sideways. It'll pop. At that point, um, point out that, try to see if you can see that. There you go. So you can see that that catches that bottom edge. Uh, there's a similar on the top edge of that. So anyway. I'm trying to do this with one, one hand. I might have to step away from the video and then come back. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do that. Hang on. Okay, so after getting it loose, um, picking it up, and so you can see that that uh, top edge there has the same type of little lip. Anyway, um, once you get in here, at that point, if your bowl was brown, out, um, you can go ahead and grab a hold of it rotate it an eighth one eighth turn and it should uh free it and loose it according to instructions um i'd encourage you uh to get some of those rubber gloves and i'll only say that because i know when you're changing like you know like the um bulbs for your vehicle headlights and stuff like that one of the things they definitely recommend but like do not touch the bulb with you know your bare hands because it's like it reduces the life and so even if it's not true for these um, out of habit, I try to practice that as far as not touching uh, the bare bulb with my bare hand. So anyway, so like I said, get some rubber gloves. Um, uh, this is a smaller screwdriver, emphasize that. Um, a normal type of flat screw head screwdriver will not fit in that little hole there. And there you go, the little slot. So anyway, get yourself a small screwdriver. Okay. As I was just uh, looking at this, you can see uh, the little slot that's holding the bulb right there. Um, let's see if I can grab the, this screwdriver and kind of sort of point this out. So, okay. So you could kind of see it's right there. And so when you turn it, it'll just move over here and let you pull it out. So, anyway. I've got the gloves on. I don't think I'll be able to do this with one hand. Um, yeah, I suppose I could try, but I'll probably edit this. Yeah, I would have used two hands. So, okay. I was having some problems getting this bulb out right here. Um, I ended up basically having to use the uh, flathead screwdriver to push down on the edge of that and over in order to get that thing to pop out of there. Um, you know, I'd say to you that <clears throat> depending on how small the person's fingers are, uh, so I'd guess I'd say if, you know, maybe your wife has pretty small fingers or something like that, or girlfriend or something like that, might be probably a better choice as far as to try to get the bulb out of there. Um, again, you know, it's with gloves. Um, and if for some reason, you don't have access somebody has some small hands you know maybe, maybe a child or but you know, my problem my concern would be them possibly breaking the something or whatever so anyway uh past that um i end up using a screwdriver um i will say that uh having a little bit of challenge getting that bolt back in there and so that's what i'm working on now and uh <laughs> maybe edit the video if need be all right so i've been doing some trial and error and it seemed as if the thing that made it easier to get the bulb out was I uh, took the screwdriver, uh, pushed down on that thing, and then was able to get it to pop over and out. Um, I will make mention, training to, because I was having a challenge and a bit of a um, 
hard time getting the bolt back in. Uh, I was doing some praying, and the thing that came to mind was that um, I will emphasize, I'd recommend you not to push, you know, those clothes too hard um, around that portion of the bulb right there. So um, I was able to grab a hold of that in order to put that back in place. So um, I'd love to do that, you know, for you one handed, but I'm not going to be able to sit there and take that bulb out. But uh, the way I did get it out initially is by pushing down on that and as I've got that the bolt popped out. Um, getting it back in took those. I do know that they make some of these things also have like a um, a circle on the end as well, which if you can get a hit, hold of some of those probably be a better bet. So um, I'll take this out and then just kind of show you how I, I want to go put it back in. Okay, so I'm trying to record this because I did um, end up using these to take it out this time. And so you can kind of see where I have the bulb grabbed at. Anyway, so I was able to push it downwards, turn it, and then get it to loose. And so, um, again, don't push too hard. I don't want you to crush and crack your bulb. You're going to be pissed that you did. Uh, but um, I know the same type of thing as far as I put it back in. This allows you to be able to control it, press in there, push down against the thing in the center because it's spring, kind of spring action there, spring loaded, and then you're going to turn it uh, clockwise. So counterclockwise, just a touch. It only needs to turn like basically not even an eighth of an inch. Or it's an eighth, I should just say, not even an eighth of a turn, uh, just barely, because it's just that little... Um, groove there so yeah anyway um hope this helps if it does thank the lord jesus christ god bless